Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk about something that I do every day. I do this so much, <laughs> it just hurts myself inside. And what I do is I do the routine. Well, I do this. I wake up at 6 a.m., I wake up really badly, and I, I'm sometimes late to school because I have to get up. I have to get to school by 6.40, so I wake up, I'm really tired, I just, just don't want to do anything, and then I just want to sleep in my bed. Why can't we do that? Why can't we just not do anything with our lives, right? That'd be great. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't, right? Why can't we just be nomads that live with the land, right? Okay, okay, but no, we can't do that. That's That's a bad thing. We should... We need to keep progressing in society. So, I wake up at 6 a.m. and then I go to school. I go to this school, and that's a pretty good school, yeah. And then I go there for like a few hours, and then I get off school, and then I do stuff after school, and then after I do stuff after school, then I have to do school that's homework, that's basically school that's at home, and then now I'm and then I go to sleep at like 1 and then I go to sleep I wake up at 6 a.m. and I do the same thing over for and I've been doing that I've been doing the same thing over for a long time and you know what that's called when you do something repeatedly so you could get to a higher goal that's called a routine and I kind of have a love-hate relationship with the routine now everyone kind of has a love-hate relationship with the with the routine I mean would you like a monotonous life where everything is the same thing every damn day? No, you don't. You want something that's different. You want a various routine in a sense. Say, think about this. Think if you were a lottery winner. Like, think if you just won the California lottery for like a freaking five five hundred seventy three million dollars or whatever it is, and then you think, whoa, I want. Oh my god. I Okay. And you think, oh my gosh, I won. And then and then you get you get you get the ticket, right? You get that big ticket that's essentially your ticket out of whatever situation you're in. Like whether you're rich or poor. I mean if you're rich I guess you'd know how to use the money, but if you were like just say if you were a student, right? And you got a lottery ticket and you cash it in and you get all this money and you have all this money now and you spend it on a bunch of stuff and you're like wow this is luxurious this is my life whoa it's great it's a different it's like it's like a shock all right you you're now in this new routine and it's all cool and everything it's different from your old routine and you don't realize how different your old routine was and now it's all great and amazing and whoa and then you progress in that routine and it just becomes monotonous as you go on in life because it's now you now you're rich and luxurious and everything and now that's your routine so you keep on going keep on going and then it becomes boring and then if you don't manage your money well you go down you become who you were before which I don't know if you were already rich and famous or whatever it is then that's great yeah if, <laughs> imagine if you got to that point in time where you just were rich, you had all the power power that you needed in your life, you had all those relationships, all those networking skills, everything was great in your life. Like imagine if you just flash forward right now, that would be a shock, but then it would become your routine and become boring. And that's kind of what happened to me. Last year, I wasn't doing quite as much stuff as I as I'm doing this year I mean it's sophomore year now you realize that you have college which is like basically like a year from now right and then and then you have to do a lot of stuff now and now I'm super busy because I have to type and everything like I didn't even type this, these many papers and things last year and now it's all different and I'm a bit grateful for the fact that I know that it was different my life was different a year ago which is good well, there's always things in the routine that makes it great, that just changes it up. You know, when you realize that Donald Trump got inaugurated, yeah, that was a pretty cool, that was a pretty cool thing. When everyone started talking about him and everything, it was like, and then all those SNL skits and everything, mmm, that was, that was great. Like, that was a break in the routine. You know, just, 
Obama. That was the same thing with all all those seven years, but I mean I mean eight years. All those eight years. You got you have to realize how grateful you are for the routine you had and each day you you keep going into a new routine. It's like it's like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz where she thinks where she gets to place where Oz is or Frank, whatever it is. And then she's like, Toto, I don't feel non Kansas anymore and then you think, Wow, that's like my life. Every day I have a new routine, essentially. Because you meet different people, you do different things, and then day we go to another Kansas. As as Dorothy would say. And that's pretty great. And I got caught in that routine. And I thought my routine was great. I thought I thought all I needed to do was my routine. I needed to repeat this action every day. But I realized that I should probably make some videos to I joke too much. Okay. But hopefully this making videos weekly or bi weekly is a new routine for myself because I haven't been doing as such. So what makes you wake up when the alarm sounds or your parents start barging in and just start yelling at you? What makes you wake up? What gives you that motivation to move your legs and then step on stuff? Tell me in the comments below. See you guys.